You are watching Caribbean Vibrations TV, and we are here with Donna May Garcia, the manager of client care for Whitby RBC or RBC Whitby. Now, we you had a great event that you do every year for Black History Month. What made you start this seven years ago? Seven years ago, I wanted to create awareness within our community to educate, celebrate our Black community leaders, and also get RBC involved in diversity and inclusion. There are so many uh, clients that. As I receive right now, doctors, lawyers, teachers, they bring so much to the community and I wanted to reach out to them and get them engaged. The other thing is to um, our youths, they need to really recognize and know these leaders. So collaborating events like this brings all of us together as leaders and clients. So again, to create awareness, that's how we started it. Networking is the key. Reaching out to our leaders, it's an ongoing Every year we try to reach out to at least two or three of our community members. We get to know new leaders that's in the community. So by doing that over the seven years, as you can see, it's have grown and it's evolved. And look at the uh, client base and the clients that came today. So that's why it's growing because of course every year we set our goals and reaching out to clients and our leaders bringing them together. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our Caribbean Vibration viewers? One thing I would like is you today coming to this event and letting all people know what we're doing that's live on TV that it could grow and they know what we're doing so by you coming out today and televising this event and people can see what we're doing I think it's gonna create that um, knowledge or awareness of what we're doing by engaging yourself and putting it out there for our community thank you so much for your time thank you thanks for coming my pleasure and you're watching Caribbean vibrations you're watching Caribbean Vibrations TV, and we are here with one and only Kurt Welch. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. Unparalleled Paint. You told an amazing story. Thank you. You know, because you kept saying about obstacles, and when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So tell me a bit about that story. Um, just being a young entrepreneur growing up, going through the corporate world, as well as trying to start my own business, difficult. Being a single father, raising my daughter at the same time, difficult. However, at the end of it all, I always had an end goal, and it was to create a legacy for my daughter, and that's what I did. And that's what I pushed through with. She was my reason for doing it all. Why do you think RBC chose you for today? You know, one thing that I could say that I'm lucky with is I think that Donna May really paid close attention to us as a business and watched us and helped us and mentored us a bit in our growth. You know, I'm really thankful for anything that she has done for us because she's part of the reason why we're here tonight. And, you know, I'm thankful for all the help she's given us along the way. Sometimes it's hard to make that jump and that leap from doing whatever you're doing, whether it's the corporate world, whether it's working in trades, whatever it is. But people being able to make that jump and that leap is important because unless you do that, you'll never know. I think everybody has their own reason or what I would like to call your why. So my why was my daughter, my reason for pushing through, my reason for working night and day. I think everybody brings that strength from somewhere else, whether it might be church, whether it might be an experience that they've had or a challenge that they've had. People pull that strength from different areas and everybody has their own why. Thank you so much for your time. It was a great night, powerful night. Thank you very much for your time as well. You are watching Caribbean Vibrations TV and we are here at the RBC Diversity event for Black History Month with the one and only Ken Roy Wilson. How are you doing today? Doing good, doing good. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you again too. Ken is the founder of the Wilson Project Employment and Training Center. What is that all about? So the Wilson Project Employment and Training Center is very close to my heart. It's a not-for-profit organization that I created in memory of my dad, Ralph Wilson. Um, who passed away from some unforeseen circumstances. And in creating this project, I created a way to be able to help young people that may have been in trouble with the law or having a harder time academically to be able to graduate high school, but also to become productive members of society. By providing mentorship, I realized a lot of high school students or young people don't have mentors. And they're navigating through life, making mistakes and continuously making mistakes and not having anyone to be able to show them, you know what, how to make positive choices or even just how to um, to have life skills. So I wanted to now use this organization to be able to reach those individuals that may not have the support around them but have potential to become somebody great and be able to pour into them what many of us have or may not have had. How does RBC help you to attain your professional goals? Well. 
RBC has been very instrumental over the years of me having my business. Again, when I started my business, I didn't go to school for business. I didn't know how to run or open up a business. And I had individuals in RBC that were able to help educate me on simple things. How does your credit score work? How do you set a budget? And also being able to connect with other um, community organizations to be able to network and grow the business. A lot of times we might approach individuals, whether it's the bank, and majority of the times we go to them for finances. And I know it's not that easy to get access to finances. And for me, I don't want to miss an opportunity because of only finances, but I've been able to make great connections with other entrepreneurs that have access to resources that I may be able to utilize. So RBC has definitely helped me to be able to network with other companies, other individuals, and they've invited me to um, numerous events that I've been able to spread the word of what it is I'm trying to do and to continue to grow the business and also the work that I do community-wise. So they've been very instrumental in helping me to push this project forward. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations TV and we're here with the MPP for Durham, Mr. Granville Anderson. How are you doing today? I am very good. Thank Thank you. Now, we got a chance to listen to you talk about the different things that you've gone through. You start off always in the education system. You were a trustee and then you were a chair. What are you trying to do now as you're the Parliamentary Secretary to the Ministry of Education? But if you're talking about well-being, then we have to... The well-being of black kids are very important. They're, they're one of the marginalized segments of our society. So I, I'm trying to rectify that. I'm trying also to get more black content in the curriculum. Because black history is not just to be celebrated for a month, for one month. Black history is an ongoing and we have a long history of contribution to this country from the black community. So it's time the recognition, we get the recognition and it's time young kids, impressionable kids, realize that black people have achieved a lot and are a part of this country. And you know, it's not black history, it's Canada's history. And, and so that's, I want to bring that to the forefront. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. And this was an absolutely wonderful event. And you're watching Caribbean Vibrations.